We are here for the dreamer, for our children. Uh, we are here to let the people know we won't be shy. Most holy God, in your word we read many stories about the ones you have protected as they left home in search of a better life. You have blessed our nation with dreamers who arrived here as children and today seek a way to make their contribution to our common life. We pray that our Congress and those in authority may turn away from the demons of prejudice, fear, and scarcity. And we pray that you will give us all vision and inspire our concrete actions as we seek to realize our goal of liberty and justice on earth for all. May your will be done here as in heaven. Amen. On Friday, uh, CTACA recipients were arrested in congressional office and have been in custody since Friday night. They are calling on all of us to host solidarity prayer vigils. We need as many people as possible to show their support and pray for the well-being. Today, many are living in terror because they're being treated as political pawns. Earlier this year, Attorney General Jeff Sessions announced the rescinding of the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals <coughs> Program, DACA, an American immigration policy enacted by the Obama administration in June 2012, which allows some undocumented young residents who were brought to the United States as minors to stay in the country and work legally. They've been allowed to attend college without fear of being suddenly deported and separated from their family. New Jersey has over 22,000 DACA recipients, making it the ninth highest in the country. 87% of these young dreamers are actively working. New Jersey has the fifth highest immigration population in the nation and ranks third after California and New York for the highest proportion of foreign-born residents. This, I feel sure, is God's gift to us and a grace. Moreover, they are our neighbors and members of the body of Christ in the Diocese of New Jersey and the wider church. They are members of our congregations, our communities, certainly of my diocesan family. This unjust actions by our government, rescinding the DACA Act of making pawns out of innocence is beyond outrageous and must be opposed in every way possible we need to call and demand a clean dream act. It is the only moral thing, the only godly thing to do. What do we want? Justice. When do we want it? Now. What do we want? Justice. When do we want it? Now. So when I came here, I did all my life in the US. I never went back to my country and I never seen. We came here with a visa. In the middle of my high school, around my, let's say, 10th grade, I had a letter called the DACA that I'm eligible to, to have, the Dreamers Act. Once I found they had my card, and I wish I had it on me, I had it, I was so happy. The second year that I had it, it was a, like a big downfall because my cousin who, has, who had the um, DACA, also got deported, and and I got scared. I don't know nothing about my country. I don't know a lot of Spanish. What am I going to do? You know, and that's where you start with education. We all know education is the future. It's not about you know you not being born here and not being American. It's about simply wanting something bigger than what we know and what we see. You know what I mean? give you some background. I'm a resident in this country. As I said, I look like an American. I came here when I was nine months. And adult, I am ashamed of what our world has come to be. I take pride in to say that I want more. We're all here for the same purpose, for the bigger picture, to make the world a better place. We're gonna have a call-in party at our office tomorrow. Um, we're providing scripts, uh, so you can just drop in at our office, make the call. We also urge you to call friends and family that live in other states or other areas of the state to call their representatives and make sure that they understand the importance of a Clean Dream Act um, and that we need to make sure that Republicans and Democrats are both understanding the urgency of this issue. Uh, there are already over 20,000 DACA students that have lost status since September 5th, 
um, and that number is going to skyrocket starting March 6th. There are actions every single week across the state, throughout this nation. Um, continue to get involved, continue to remain engaged, um, and make sure that your voice is heard. Over three months have passed since the White House repealed DACA. And Congress says there is no urgency to add by the end of the year. December 18th was the seventh anniversary of when the original Dream Act died in the Senate. Our dream is 10 years in the making. As Proverbs 31.89 says, speak out for those who cannot speak. We must call our legislators and demand Congress to pass the Clean Dream Act. And this is God's call for us. We are not afraid.